So in this video, I'm going to show you if then else statements and I've already shown you in my uh, previous task that how we can bind different variables with our template and I have defined a variable is true and inside this variable I defined true as a value and then I binded this variable with this P element and I used an attribute ngf with a steric and after that within the double quotes I used that variable and if that variable gets true then this value will be printed if the value of this variable is false then this value will not be printed and it doesn't needs to be boolean value it can be any conditional thing like if 2 equals to 2 then it's also going to return a boolean result whether it's true or false so i'm going to just um, control z to bring back my boolean value now uh, let's say that uh, i want to add another condition within this nj if i have already used if condition on it now i want to use else condition so for using else condition uh, i need to write a semicolon and after that i will write else and I'm going to write first template and I haven't created this template yet uh, so what's it's going to do uh, I'm going to first define a template so I will write ng template hash the name of template and I'm going to print a message this is first template Alright, so I'm going to save this one and save this file as well. So if I go back to my browser and you can see that it has printed hello. The reason is that uh, if this variable, the result of this variable returns true, right now it's a boolean value directly, so it is true, then this value will be printed. And if this condition gets false, then else condition will get printed. So not just printed it's going to execute this template so we have defined a template like this I have used an element uh, like this I have used ng dash template and after that I have used the name of my template with a hash sign and within this template I have set out a string a message and this is just a string we can change it uh, to other elements as well we can add bunch of other elements within this template as well so if I change this to false now this variable will get false now else should be uh, executed and it's going to call this template and this template message should be shown so if I navigate to my browser you can see that this is first template and this has been printed okay so now let's say I want to add the template for the first condition as well as for the second condition. I don't want to rely on this hello. I want uh, to have another template and that should be executed when this gets true and the second template should be executed when this gets false. So I'm going to change it to then because when this gets true this then template will be called and after then I have called this first template and after this first template I'm going to write else second temp and I'm going to copy this one paste it copy the name paste and I'm going to change the message from first to second now if I navigate to my browser it has shown me this is second template the reason is that this value gets false because uh, this is false and this then first template will not get called because this is getting false and when this gets false this else condition will be called and that's why this second message is has been printed and if I change it to true the first condition will get true and the template that has been added just after this then keyword will be called and right now we have first temp so if I navigate to my browser you can see that it has printed this is first template so 
Uh, this was all for the if then else. One thing more I just want to mention if you have haven't worked with Angular JS, Angular 2, and you are learning Angular 4 right now. I just want to mention you that I have uh, added a URL for my HTML and in this case if my HTML contain bunch of elements then it's a good practice that you create a separate template and add the reference for that template within this template URL but if our HTML contains just one line like just a heading element or a paragraph element then uh, rather than creating a separate HTML file, we can directly add an element after this. Okay, so I'm going to just comment this whole bunch of code and comment this code as well. And now I'm going to add this title directly within this template. So rather than adding template URL, I'm going to change it to just template. And within the single quotes, I'm going to write P and interpolation and I'm going to write title. And let's save this file and you can see that app works. So this template contains just one P element. If our HTML elements gets increased like multiple elements then uh, it's not a good practice we uh, must need to add a url okay so that was all for this video make sure you subscribe my channel and thanks for watching